March 2019. The wind above Novaya Zemlya howls through the white silence. A column of frozen breath rises from a team of Russian technicians as they stand beside a missile that should not exist. A weapon meant to fly forever. Its body glints dull silver under a polar sun, steam whispering from vents as if the machine itself were alive. Moments later, a countdown echoes through the tundra, and the Buravestnik lifts into the sky, trailing both flame and rumor. It was the newest specter of the nuclear age, the 9E730 Buravestnik, NATO's Skyfall. Conceived to give Russia an answer to American missile defenses, it promised what no other missile dared a miniature nuclear reactor as its heart, granting unlimited range and the power to circle the Earth unseen. Moscow claimed it could approach from any direction, bypassing every shield. Yet Western analysts doubted the miracle, warning that a subsonic ghost can still be hunted, and that every hour it flew risked scattering invisible poison across the clouds. In truth, Burevesnik was as fragile as it was ambitious. Several launches ended in failure. In August 2019, one test erupted in a lethal flash, releasing radiation and taking lives. The dream of boundless flight had collided with the limits of physics and the cost of secrecy. Still, the symbolism endured, a weapon of endless motion, endless fear, born from a nation unwilling to accept containment. The Americans once spoke of atoms for peace due. Burevestnik turned that promise inside out, a reactor not lighting homes but darkening horizons. As the missile's shadow faded into the Arctic mist, it left behind a reminder older than any empire, that in pursuit of absolute power, even the sky can become radioactive.